new hand touches the beacon. Listen, hear me and obey. A foul darkness has seeped into my temple. A darkness that you will destroy. Return my beacon to Mount Kilcree. And I will make you the instrument of my cleansing light. Everyone and welcome to set four or five or whatever it is of Let's Play Skyrim Special Edition. Now, I've done a few things off screen. Uh, mostly, I was working on um, leveling up my smithing so I can create new armor. Came to a pretty interesting surprise. All right, first and foremost, let's go over the mods. I only have one new mod this time. It's actually a cosmetic lore mod. I guess is a good way of putting it. It adds in something new to Windhelm. The Windhelm. Whitehold, whatever it's called. Winterhold, there we go. It is the Ruins of Winterhold. Now, according to the uh, lore, um, when the mountain in uh, Marwyn erupted, it was so powerful that it caused a tremor to shake over into Skyrim and destroy the uh, destroy Winterhold, which was a kingdom, uh, which was a hold so great that it rivaled Solitude in its, in its size. However, when we go there, there's only like four buildings, um, one is a house, one is a shop, one is the Jarl's place, and one is the inn. And then there's also ruins of some houses here and there, and the College of Winterhold. Which is cool and all, but it doesn't really fit in with the lore, you know, I look at that and go, this is, this is, this rivaled, uh, Solitude? What the fuck? So this mod adds in, um... More ruins, more wall, um, adds in these these giant walls like it did of, uh, like it does here. And it looks pretty cool. Uh, you'll probably see that more when we get there, uh, during the Let's Play. Unless I have to go there for whatever reason. Um, other than that, there's not much else I did with that. But I did do a lot of things. I'm now level 21, which was, which is quite a bit higher than I was in, uh, the last set. Uh, mostly this went into me... Scroll over... Working on my smithing, which I did a lot of, in case you can't tell. Holy fuck. I also did a bit of enchanting. Basically, my enchanting went to um, disenchanting a few things I found while I was roaming around, as well as enchanting stuff that I smithed, which is how I got a level 44 enchanting, which is pretty good, actually. Um, when I got, I believe it was advanced armors, or maybe it was... No, it was advanced armors, yeah. When I got advanced armors, I unlocked the Nordic armor set, which well, I currently have equipped. I have a entire Nordic armor, including bows and arrows. It took me for that, that's what took me most of my time to get done. I went to so many freaking places to get um, ebony and quicksilver ores. It's not even funny. Few stores sold them. I was able to get them, but I was able to create this entire armor set, which is pretty nice. I like it. it even got me a uh, silver, uh, silver and sapphire circlet. Um, so it's pretty cool. I like it. Um, I was also able to upgrade it up to... What level was it? Flawless, which is pretty nice. And I enchanted them with, um... Uh... Soul Steel, which I got uh, uh, somewhere else as well. Uh, Soul Trap, there we go. Now... <laughs> at the beginning of this, I sh I'll show a video of me finding Merida's Beacon. Which I got all the way over here. Where's it at? It's not on the map anymore, is it? What the fuck? Is it here? Oh, fuck. Where the hell was it? No, it was here, yeah. I didn't go over there yet. Okay. I got a um, Meredith's Beacon here at Lost Valley Redow. Redow, whatever. And inside the chest there, I found a poison um, amulet, which is a, a resist poison amulet, which is one of the rare enchantments. So I was like, cool. Awesome. I'm going to go sell some shit. Went over to... Um, Winter Hole or White Run? Went to the shop. They were selling water breathing. Like, okay, that's awesome. Went to the training shop. There was the disease potion. There was the resist disease. I'm just sitting there like, the 
fuck. And then I went over to here and found me a muffle. So, I, I, I have no clue what the hell happened. Those are supposed to be rare. I remember going the entire game not knowing Muffle was even an enchantment I could get my very first time playing, so... I have pretty much the rare enchantments, which blew my mind when I got them. So I decided to enchant my gear with oh, all that bunch of fun stuff. So I have Poison Resistance, Muffle, one hand Attacks, Fire Resistance, Water Breathing, Disease, so it's pretty nice. Um... I also went to a few other places, got some more ebony ingots, and started creating the black soul gems from the craftable soul gem mod, which is awesome. Excuse me. And I went to a few bandit camps, stole their souls, which is pretty much what I used to enchant my shit. Used a uh, previous in, previous weapon to uh, steal steal their souls. So I have some pretty good soul gems. I used I put the rest of my um, grand level soul gems, which are bandits, and put them away into uh, my house, which I did do also. Let's go through that real quickly. Hearthfire DLC includes the ability to create houses. Um, since the Reach doesn't have a big quest tied to it, I decided to do this one off-screen and become Thane of, the, Th uh, Thane of uh, the Reach. Basically, all I did was get a letter from the Jarl. Courier sent it to me. Ironically, it was inside Falkreath when I got it. Um... Went out and killed a, a few bandits in uh, Boggle's Bine. Um, he sold me the house, got the house, and I upgraded it. I did decide that I was going to use the um, uh, the cheat items from the cheat menu specifically for cosmetic things for the house. That's all I use it for. And it's all stored away in the house as well. So, full disclosure, I did that. I'm sorry for cheating. But, uh, like I said, it's all for um, cosmetic uses only. I did create some extra Nordic stuff to um, decorate the house. You know, the weapon blocks and whatnot. But I will not touch any of that gear that I used my the cheating for in the actual Let's Play. It's all purely for cosmetics. So, yeah. That was fun. <clears throat> um, this, by the way, is my crafting trophy house. <laughs> where I where I will make my armor and uh, store all my stuff for my adventure. So it's pretty cool. And it's also where I'll be enchanting stuff as well. So I like it. It's a nice house. Side note, if you want to have a house and get married, have kids, you know, do the whole, the whole, you know, make Skyrim great thing again, do not do it at Lakeview Manor. Lakeview Manor is the one place where you should not do that because a lot of enemies spawn there. So you don't want to do that. The best one that you want to do is actually the one for Dongard, uh, the house here, because it's a nice place, your family likes it, and there aren't a lot of enemies around there. Plus, you have two giant camps on either side of you, so if bandits do spawn, there's a good chance of, uh, some giants may actually come over and kill them for you instead. So that's pretty nice. But it's, uh, it's nice, I like it. Anywho, uh, this set, let's get on to the actual shit we're doing this set. I'm going to be going to enter, entering the main holds because a lot of these have uh, interesting little cutscenes to go through. And I want to keep them on screen. So let's go. And then we're going to start two uh, faction quests. If we have time. So yeah. And next set we're going to be upgrading. Uh, we're going to be doing the... Um, uh, God, what's it called? The Ethereum Wars quest. There we go. Which is always fun. Turn that off. Just heard Uncle Rob here. Tell them he didn't do it. Position. Far you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. Traitor! Get on with it! You should tell her that her uncle is scum that betrayed his high king. Best she know now. You betrayed oh. us! Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't hey, deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric Lion. challenged Tori. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. Oh, 
on this day, I go to Solengard. Okay, so, I'm gonna go through this quickly. This amulet of Talos is actually kind of important. Now, if you want to make the shrines in your Hearthfire houses, you'll need at least um, one of each of the gods' uh, necklaces. I have an Akatosh amulet uh, that I found, I think, for sale in Riverwood. I think it's where I got it. Not 100%. But the amulets of Talos are actually hard to find because they're outlawed. However, comma, you can get one here. Caveat to that, though, is this is tied to a quest, and if you pick it up, you can't get rid of it. Um, unless you do the quest, in which case there's a chance you'll be able to keep the amulet. Or you'll be able to remove the amulet. Once that's done, you can go ahead and uh, get do the quest and get that th get then. But, yeah. It's annoying as all hell. You done? Okay. That's, all, that's the only reason why I came here, is because of that cutscene. And, why, and I wanted to explain that to you guys. Because when I first played this game, way, way back, way back when, when I was still in high school, or whenever the hell this game came out, um, I had an issue with that, where I picked up the aim that I looted the corpse, and I couldn't get rid of the aim of Talos. Annoyed the hell out of me. So, figured I'd tell you guys that. There is a mod that makes this statue of Azura so fucking big, that you can see it literally all over across Skyrim. Except for maybe from here. But it's still freaking huge. Need a trained war dog? Fiercest companion money can buy. A war dog is good company and good protection. I would if the war dog looked cooler. Not a shaggy dog. Okay. As a side note, um, earlier, uh, earlier sets I was using two-handed weaponry. I decided instead that I'm going to work up to that. So, like, you know, do a little role-playing a little bit with this and have it to where she's learning how to use swords and whatnot, and then eventually she's going to go up to the big fucking sword near the end. Now, I'm doing this because there's a feature in this game I completely forgot existed. They patched it in uh, near the end of my Skyrim playing. But basically... Um, when you reach rank 100, you can uh, legendary or prestige a uh, skill tree, which will drop the level back down to uh, level 10 or 20. It'll get a little dragon emblem, and you get all your perks back, and you can go through it again and level it up and get even more perks. So it's kind of cool to do that. So basically, I'm going to get to um, mastering level 1, prestige it, and then upgrade to a different weapon type. So I'll probably prestige this, go to two-handed swords, prestige it again, then go to two-handed, uh, go to two uh, one-hand swords, then prestige it to two-handed swords. All depends on how long it takes. Ah! Should hold my sword up before coming in here. Fuck! I have to be quick. Nope. He was gonna kill the girl in blue. Um, num, num. I'll take that. Okay then. Everyone, stay back. The Markarth City Guard have this all under control. The you can save her, yeah, but it doesn't matter if she, if she survives or not. As wanted to. A forsworn guards. A woman attacked right on the streets. Are you all right? Did you see what happened? The forsworn here inside. The forsworn. Strange. Well, I hope the eight give you more peace in the future. What it's worth. Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of note. Looks important. My note? No, that's yours. Must have fallen out of your pocket. Until next time. Okay, then. Uh, f before I forget again, I'm going to read this quickly. Because it starts a, uh, the, Force, the Forsworn Conspiracy Quest. This is actually pretty helpful, because if you finish it, a uh, tribal Forsworn will attack you. Somewhere out there. But anyway, as I was trying to say earlier, um, last set ended off with a glitch. I made sure to fix it. But I had to reset Mitsuki yet again because of the missing character and the missing NPC uh, glitch that pops up every so often. Fortunately, 
Uh, they patched that earlier this morning. I'm going to show you how, how far in advance I'm recording the set. They patched it earlier this morning. So, we no longer have to worry about that, which is great. Um, well, hopefully. I, I've heard stories that there are people still experiencing it um, when it was still in beta. But, yeah. But the guy who gives you the uh, Da for Fruswa Da, Unknown Tick Force, um, he disappeared and appeared in the bottom left portion of the map. So, kind of annoying. But, uh, the mod, the, the patch should fix it. I did get a... I did have a character disappear earlier. He was the, um... The shopkeep inside War Maidens. He completely disappeared. He was gone entirely. I searched all over White One, couldn't find him anywhere. And, uh, when the patch, uh, happened, I, uh, went to my Breeze Home house, rested until about noon, went out, and boom, he was back. So, hopefully, that's the last we hear of that glitch. Let's go in here. I'm going to start, quote unquote, the Dark Brotherhood. Well, the quest that leads into it, I should say. You're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the storm cloaks. But we haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, little spy. We got ways of finding out what you really are. Oh. You're a dick. Do you hate the Dark Elves? Are you here to bully us and tell us to leave? No, I don't care. I don't hate your people. You've come to the wrong city, then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice and narrow thinking. Unworthy of one such as you. Nothing new there. Most of the Nords living in Windhelm don't care much for us, but Rolf is the worst by far. He likes to get drunk and walk around the Great Quarter yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charmer, that one. Safe to well, he's a dick. All right, let's get started with this thing so we can get out of here. They're basically talking about the kid inside here, who's um, trying to perform the Black Sacrament to summon the Dark Brotherhood. But it's all just, you know, su so superstition. Why must I do this? I keep praying, Night Mother. Why won't you answer me? Grow all, you old crone. You'll get what you deserve. The Dark Brotherhood will see to that. Hello. Die, Grow all, die! You've come at last! I knew you would! It worked! I knew you'd come! I just knew it! I did the Black Sacrament over and over with the body and the things. And then you came! An assassin from the Dark Brotherhood! You don't have to say anything. There's no need. You're here, so I know you'll accept my contract. My mother, she... She died. I... I'm all alone now. So they sent me to that terrible orphanage in Riften. Honor Hall! The headmistress is an evil, cruel woman. They call her Grella the Kind. But she's not kind. She's terrible to all of us! So I ran away and came home and performed the Black Sacrament. Now you're here and you could kill Grella the Kind! Hey, right, sure. Kind of lonely here. I'm gonna take this stuff. Whenever I find a black sacrament, I always take the human flesh and heart. I have no clue why. Of course, I have to mine, I guess. Okay, so that is that. We're also going to doing another thing. Quick save. I've still been having issues where it'll crash every so often. Um, not a lot anymore, but still annoying enough. This is a, um, Dark Brotherhood prequest, I guess? It's tied to it in a way, shape, or form. I'm not going to explain why. Because spoilers, but it's still tied to it. 
God damn. Imagine those things coming at you. Horrifying. Alright. This quest disappears if um, you're actually a part of the Brotherhood. Stuck here. Stuck! My mother, my poor mother. Unmoving. At rest. But too still. Oh, poor Cicero is stuck. Can't you see? I was transporting my dear, sweet mother. Well, not her. Her corpse. <laughs> She's quite dead. I'm taking mother to a new home. A new crypt. But... Wagon wheel, damnedest wagon wheel! It broke, don't you see? Oh, oh, oh yes! <laughs> yes, the kindly stranger can certainly help. Go to the farm, the Laureus farm, just over there, off the road. Talk to Laureus. He has tools. He can help me, but he won't. He refuses. Uh, convince Loris to fix my wheel. Do that, and poor Cicero will reward you with coin. Gleamy, shiny coin. All right. Let's we'll see what we can do. Hello, butterfly. Do, 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 do. Where is the guy? I need to talk to you. There he is. Hey, mate. Oh, for the love of Mara, what now? That Cicero fella? Huh, tell me something I don't know. Crazy fool's already asked me about five times. Seems he's not satisfied with my answer. Why can't he just leave us alone? Pay me? You think this is about money? Have you seen the man? He's completely out of his head. A jester here in Skyrim? Ain't been a merry man in these parts for a hundred years. And he's transporting some giant box. Says it's a coffin, and he's going to bury his mother. Mother, my eye. He could have anything in there. War contraband, weapons, skooma. Ain't no way I'm getting involved in any of that. What? And just who in Mara's name are you, anyway? Hmm? Come here, telling me my business. And for what? To help a, a, a fool? Look, I, I... Yes, you're right, you're right. Feller might be nutters, might not. But fact is, he needs help. I turn him away. What kind of a man am I, huh? Look, um, thanks. And I'm sorry for my unneighborly reaction. If you talk to Cicero, you be sure to tell him I'll be down to help soon. So there are three paths you can do with this quest. One, straight up ignore it. Don't do it. Two, um, side with the guy and actually convince that guard over there that uh, Cicero is um, probably carrying war contraband or something. He'll be arrested. Or do what we're doing and help Cicero. Either way, you'll get different reactions depending on what you do. Ooh, poor mother. Her new home seems so very far. You you did? He has? Oh, stranger! You have made Cicero so happy, so jubilant and ecstatic, but more, even more, my mother thanks you. Here, here for your troubles, shiny, clinky gold. A few coins for your kind deed, and thank you, thank you again. <laughs> no problem, man. You see, Mom. Jovial, I guess a good word for it. <laughs> Alright. I always have issues with the, with the crashing whenever I fast travel, so I generally try to save before it's fast traveling. Okay, so we've been to... Windhelm, Solitude, Markarth... Okay. Riften's pretty much the last place we need to go. Ah, sorry. Actually, before I forget to do it, I should actually go do something else. This will actually make things a little bit easier for me in uh, the long run. <clears throat> All 
Alright, let's go back out. Fast travel to... Let's mark this. The watchtower here. There is a special word wall which will give you three words of power, for one. Guarded by a dragon, as well as something else. So, I want to do this, because that something else is kind of interesting. And that word of power we get is very freaking helpful. Especially if you're going with a stealth build. Which we aren't, but we, we will be in a few minutes. I've basically decided that um, each faction I join... I'll use the uh, weapons and armor of that trade. For example, join the Thieves' Guild, I'll wear the light armor. I'll use daggers instead of swords. Maybe I'll use two swords. But no, I'll use daggers, yeah. Um, same thing with the Dark Brotherhood. I'll wear their clothing and use daggers as well. Um, Alright. When I join the Fighters' Guild, quote-unquote, um, I'll wear heavy armor and... I'll probably go back to this type of set. But yeah, pretty much stuff like that. Oof. That was weird. Whoa! After knock. Where the fuck did you come from? Backing up. There we go. That was interesting. Alright, let's keep going. I hear a bear or something. It's a bear. Leave the bear alone. You know what? If you're close, I'm blowing you away. Fair warning, bear. Who's? Warned ya. I found a few giant frostbite spiders out in the wild. I did that to them, and they just go flying. They crumple. It's so freaking hilarious to see. Alright. I'm trying to be careful with this dragon, because I don't want to piss off the other thing that's there. Alright. It was a little farther to the right than I thought it was going to be. But okay. Okay. And before you ask, I have no clue how I remember where all these things are. <laughs> no clue whatsoever. Hopefully it's a regular dragon, not a blood dragon. I've got to the point where blood dragons start spawning, and they are <laughs> not friendly. It is regular dragon. Yes. Hold the bow. Crouch. Aim a little high. Fire. Gotcha! Not high enough. Right, come on, buddy! You can handle the sword and shield pretty easily. Stop it! No, ain't happening, bitch! Got out of range. Where are you going? Motherfucker! He's right near where the other thing is. As I said, I don't want to deal with it while this dragon's still on about. So I'm going to snipe you. Just to make sure I don't piss off the other guy. God, I love how they crawl across the ground. It looks so cool. Fire. There we go. I'm out of healing potions, by the way, so... Alright. Give me your soul. Donkshin. I should have enough to fully power up this thing, too. Oh, Frosty. Alright, let's see. Do I have enough? I do. Good. 
Got a lot of nice stuff. Okay then. Save again. Bow. It's right in that. He's not getting up. All right, hold on a second. Just to make things a little quicker for me. Come on, load up. There we are. Loading up the uh, word wall so I can tell you what it says. <clears throat> As I said, there are three words of power on the thing. Alrighty then. Wait. Come on. Sorry, an ad was loading. That was always fun. Okay, let's go. There he is. Dragon Priest, Dragon Priest, uh, Croesus. His name means sorrow. Come on. Ah, oh, fuck. I am not ready for this. Okay, um, fuck, 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 fuck. Restoration, full heal. Hide, hide, hide! Okay, so archery's gonna be the path I need to go. Because I'm not gonna be able to damage him for shit from a distance. From close up. Whoa! That hurt! So that! Still looking for a healing rate po uh, enchantment. God damn it! That's gonna hurt. Oh God! Oh God! Oh! I am fucked. Okay, stay behind it. Stay behind it. Do I have anything that can use shout wise? That might help. Decreases armor value. Come on, heal up. Oh, God! I'm dead. Shit. Okay, how do I fight? How did I fight these guys in the past? Um, I say I have to kill the dragon, so that's good. I can always just try and bum rush the word. Crouch. Try to go for a stealth attack from behind. And then do shit. Come on. Keep him off guard. Keep him off balance. Yeah, ain't happening, bitch. I'm not gonna let ya. Oh, God. Run away. Okay, that, that got a good amount of damage off of him. Ow. Ow. Alright, pull the sword. Shield. Okay. Let me 
Alright, stun him again. Nope. Run away. <laughs> this is so bad. So fucked up. Okay. Where's my heals? Stay hidden a little bit. Okay. If only I had a faster charge cooldown rate on my thing, I would probably snipe the fucker more. Heels. Just give me the words. I got the words. Throw a voice. Where is he? Oh, hello. All right. I'll read the word wall after I kill him. That's if, because his HP is pretty low now. Where's he at? There he is. Try to stay. Oh, God, it's new. Okay, let's heal up. <laughs> Doing so much good so far. I'm actually going to do a physical save. Because I'm actually doing pretty good. Really got to work on giving me some magic defense. God damn. Find the wall. One, two, three, go! That's gonna hurt. Ho! Ow. Nothing worthwhile! I was hoping there's gonna be like a health potion or something I could use in there. Whoa, that was close. Jump. Ow. That hurt. A lot. Fuck. Got me from behind. This entire set's gonna be me fighting Krosis. Do I have a secondary weapon I can use? I do not. I'm usually pretty good with uh, two-handed weaponry, so. Well, I do have the pickaxe, but it's not gonna do jack shit against this fucker. Right. Take two. Or three. Nope. Damn that shield. So yeah, I'm gonna run away. I'll come back later to fight Croesus. Fortunately, he doesn't uh, disappear. He pretty much just goes right back inside that uh, crypt once, once uh, you go away long enough. But uh, throw a voice. Let's go ahead and read what the word wall is supposed to say. Where is it? Okay, uh, Dra Draconic. Wordifin, Gut, Walan, Quitzkol, Zemahi, Vakrut, Oskar, Fin, Mewen, Zulos, Solo, Ark, Ni, Sarot, Thum, Du, Ok, Broad. Which is, Madir the Far raised the stone in his brother's memory, Oscar the Fool, whose voice was weak and not the mighty shout of his clan. Okay then. Oh shit. That's one of the word wall, I swear. Whoa. If I kept going, I would have died. So like I said, we'll be back. Once I have better gear. Specifically stuff that can resist fire. And magic. I can fast travel now. So out we go. So throw voice uh, shout does pretty much what the name suggested does. 
it allows you to project your voice instead of it as a shout. It'll be a um, uh, an insult that appears at a distance. Uh, it's used to uh, distract people, get, uh, get them to turn their back from you. Uh, not very good in terms of actual combat, but good for sneaking around. Voice fool far and has a very quick cooldown too. So yeah, here. Hey, Melanos. Yeah. So. Hold there. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitors tax for the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? Keep your voice down. You want everyone to hear you? I'll let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. Yeah, Riften's pretty corrupt. <laughs> Hi. The gate's unlocked. You can head inside when you're ready. Heard? They're informing the Ah, let's keep going then. Goddamn Croesus. I don't want to decrease the difficulty. I really don't, which is why I didn't do that there just to kill him. Um, I will come back to kill him later on, but yeah. It will probably be with um, either Daedra or Dragon tier level gear. Or at least armor that is spe specifically designed to fight against magic casters. You know, magic resistance, elemental resistance, shit like that. I don't know you. You and Riften looking for trouble? That's the wrong answer. Last thing the Blackbriars need around here is some troublemaker trying to steal a piece of the action. The Blackbriars have rifted in their pocket and the Thieves Guild watching their back, so keep your nose out of their business. Me? I'm Maul. I watch the streets for them. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. Then we're speaking the same language. Good. So what do you want to know? Do I look like a merchant to you? You're gonna have to take that up with Vex in the Thieves Guild. Get in good with them and you'll find her. Okay, so... I found this... Let's go to it quickly. Inside the, um... Uh... What the fuck was it called? The crypts, basically, the catacombs of uh, Whiterun. Um, I did a quest there to re retrieve a um, necklace for the Priest of Arcade there. And I found this while I was there. Excuse me a second, I gotta sneeze really badly. Oh, God. feels so much better. Anyway, this is a part of the Stones of Baron Zaya quest. There are 24? I believe, I want to say. Um, yeah, 24 uh, Stones of Baron Zaya all throughout Skyrim. They're hidden in location, special locations, some of which you will have to join a uh, faction to get to. Get to. Um, finding them all and giving, giving them, well, bringing one to Vex first and foremost will give you the quest telling you what they are and you have to go out and find them. Never bring her all at once because it will glitch the game where you can't finish the quest. Once you get all 24, she'll send you on a quest to get the uh, crown of Baron Zaya. You get it, you'll put, all, you'll put all the gems inside of it, all of a sudden the Thieves Guild has its Paragon back, and all of a sudden you're finding diamonds, flawless diamonds, rubies, sapphires, inside, you know, everything. This quest will literally break the economy of the game. And it's something I always do, despite how annoying it is. Now there is a glitch that I will exploit simply due to the fact that some of these gems are in locations I can't get to without doing certain things that will take a while to do, and I don't want to do them immediately. Basically, to do this glitch, which everyone do, uses, go up to the Stone of Baron Zaya and just ma rapidly t mash the pickup button, whatever it is on your console or um, PC. Uh, you'll get multiple copies of the stone in the quest log. You may not have them in your inventory, but it will count as multiple towards them. 
Um, I've experienced that in the special edition mode, which this glitch still does work, you're able to get only uh, two pickups per of them. So you only, you only need to visit 12 locations. There is a mod that shows you where they all are, with the exception of one. And, uh, yeah. So it's pretty helpful. I may download that mod. We'll see. But let's continue onwards.